hands in their face, falling away. I mean, does it kind of take your spirit away sometimes when they make jumper after jumper after jumper like that? Well, I uh, hope not. I think uh, you know, the approach that we talked about before the game is you just have to be extremely disciplined and detailed in your coverage and what you're doing every single possession. Because uh, once you fail in coverage, uh, they make you pay for it. How much of, of the Warriors' success shooting the ball was due to defensive miscues and how much of it was due to simply guys making shots when they had a hand in their face? A uh, combination. I think uh, they're good enough where uh, they still make shots uh, with hands in their faces. Uh, but Steph's first two threes were uh, a product of us not uh, being in the proper coverage coming out of the gate of the game. And so uh, like the three, the open three he got in front of their bench, I think his second three, there was miscommunication and, uh, between a big and a small, and it produced an open three. Coach, can you talk about what you saw from Victor tonight? It seemed like, at least early on, he was pushing a little bit and trying to get back into his rhythm. How would you characterize where he's at nine games back into his season? Yeah, it's an uh, interesting place, just uh, him figuring out kind of his role with his teammates and his teammates figuring out their role uh, all together. Um, you know, this, that group of five haven't really played with each other, and it's not about to happen tomorrow in practice because there is no practice. And so, uh, to my knowledge, those five guys are going to be here, and so they need to learn how to coexist and, and play together. And uh, that's our challenge. Uh, I'm fully prepared for the challenge and uh, hope the men are, are as well. What did you see from Kyle in his 12 minutes in the fourth? A little winded. Uh, <laughs> so I, I told him during that stretch just to push yourself to, to run every possession. Uh, I think you see uh, how he helps us, uh, whether it's his ability to run into pick and rolls. Uh, receive the basketball and be a playmaker with the basketball. Uh, multiple possessions where he uh, created opportunities, whether it's a backdoor layup for Ben Gordon or whether it was a, a skip pass to Ben Gordon in the corner. Uh, his ability to pass the basketball is huge for us. Coach, you talked on Victor. You touched on Victor not really playing with that unit a whole lot. How challenging is it for you to really integrate everybody with you know, having? one guy out for a couple of nights and then someone else out another night and, and the limited practice time that the schedule has. Yeah, unfortunately I ruined the, the taste of some turkey dinners tomorrow uh, with, with some of the play that we had, but uh, that's a part of this process. Uh, we, we have to have those guys play together. Uh, I can try to continue to get them to practice together, but uh, I think the overall theme, and, and hopefully the guys saw it, is that uh, there's not one all-star on this team. You know, not AAU or, or, uh, or college, there might be some all-stars, but no one's made an all-star team here. So uh, our success is going to be found in us playing together and uh, playing as a unit. And um, hopefully we, we saw that as a team tonight. Even after the hot start, you made a comeback. You actually had the lead there in the second quarter. Um, but was the third quarter sort of a reminder that defense has to be the backstop for this team? And we talked a little bit about some of the details that we need to be there as far as execution and coverages. Um, is, is, is this a lesson that defense has to be this team's backstop in order to find success? Well, I think um, the ability to not let your offense affect your defense is even more important. Uh, to have the mind frame of everything is not going to be perfect, every offensive trip down, uh, but that can't affect my assignment on the defense have been in the floor. And I felt uh, there were multiple possessions tonight in the third quarter where that happened. The fourth game in a row, you didn't get a whole lot out of Channing offensively. Is there any one thing you can really put your finger on as to why he's not as productive? He's still learning the guys. Um, I don't know how many games he's completely played with this unit. But just the spacing of where he's going to get his shots from, uh, the guys delivering the basketball to him uh, still are finding their way to uh, get it to him. And uh, 
tonight they did a good job. It's, it's a hard test tonight because they, they switched a lot of pick and rolls. They have the ability to do that with their personnel. Uh, so pretty tough to, to gauge it tonight. But overall, the guys are still learning how to play with Chan. Everyone good? All right, thank you. Happy